Is my hand macaw easy to take care of? Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parapolis Bond. Please be sure to get your handbook to help you take really great care of your parrot on Amazon.com. You can also get Tink's Parrot Relief, which is CBD in hemp oil on Parapolis.com. Is Emerald, my hand's macaw, easy to take care of? First, I'm going to qualify what I'm going to say by telling you that I prefer to talk about a parrot that I have more experience with and I only have one hands macaw who has taken a bath and that's why she's dark green. Second, before we start, I'm going to see if I can get her to sing along. Listen for Popeye tooting out of his pipe. Hey Emerald, I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye, Popeye. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. What's that? You're not doing it. Toot toot. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Good. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the finish because Emerald eats her spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh, she's so not behaving. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Popeye. All right, I give up. She's usually so cute about it, and she usually asks me to sing. Is Emerald easy to take care of? For a parrot, she really is. <laughs> yes, she photobombs, but she's still relatively easy to take care of. What do I mean by that? Emerald is a great size. At about 150 grams, I believe, um, she's very easy to put on my shoulder. She's very easy to have in my hand. And she is, in fact, a macaw parrot. That means that one thing about her is she's a fair talker. Say hi, Emerald. Emerald. Hi. Listen for her name. Who's a pretty girl? That was I am. Who's a pretty girl? Yes, Emerald. Good job. Good job. Yes. Can I see your pretty wings? Now she's doing the toot toot for Popeye. Popeye. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Yeah, I did it. I'm strong to the finish, his emerald eats her spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Good job. So, Emerald is a fair vegetable eater and she's great at eating her pellets. Now, hand macaws do require some nut fat and hand macaws are supposed to be pretty friendly parrots that will get along with other species. Emerald, because of her circumstances, she was raised without being around other parrots. Um, she's not like that. She was a rescue we took in. So, uh, nevertheless, she is easy to take care of. Again, I can't say that's true for all hands macaws, but Emerald is fairly easy going. You saw her nip at me. She's a little off today, I'm not sure why, but she doesn't really generally bite. She is a little loud, but she's a good eater, and because of her size, she's not a difficult parrot as far as she doesn't make a big mess. She doesn't pick fights with other birds. I um, don't have big monster poops. Her diet's easy. It's easy to chop up some veggies for her. It's easy to carry her around. Hi, huh, sweetie. She's just easy. One of the hardest things I find is deciding whether or not she would be a fair apartment parrot. It's possible that if you had a small apartment and your neighbors could hear you, maybe it wouldn't work out that well. You can hear she is a little loud, and when she calls, she goes, wah, 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 wah. It gets a little obnoxious, and it is a little loud. It's not as bad as some notorious parrots like my Amazons. They're loud. When 
sometimes when my Amazons are screaming and I'm outside, I can hear them. Even from in the house with the windows closed. So, generally speaking though, I kind of feel like this is one fantastic parrot. She's beautiful. I feel like she has a, a really great personality. Um, and she's very social. You do have to really have the time. If you don't have two, you're the companion. And Emerald's kind of in that boat just because she doesn't relate with any of our other birds. So she looks to me to keep her company. That can be challenging because we aren't parrots and we do other human things like sleep and go to work and cook and we have like our own things we like to do. And so that can be a little tough if you want to keep a happy parrot that really warms up to you and you want to make sure your hands macaw is easy on you. You want to baby like allocating time on a daily basis with them. It doesn't have to be hours on end, but you know, 10 minutes, a couple of times in the morning, you know, maybe 30 minutes spread out, maybe maybe a session with, with a little more time. You can even just have them around, you're watching TV, they're there, maybe they have a treat, maybe they have their veggies or whatever it is. And then, you know, I would say a couple more, maybe 10 minutes, um, three or two or three times in the evening. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Emerald. Because if you can gain the trust and create a bond with a hands macaw, my research, like from what I've been told when I've researched, their personality is a little nicer than the severe macaw. Whether that's true or not, I can't really say. But great personality, very easy to take care of, very congenial, very um, personable, a little nippy. But you could see my thumb, that was nothing. What's going on with you? She's a little moody today. Something's up. Something's up. What's up? But you can see I'm very comfortable with her. I'm not worried about her really biting me. And like I said, easy to take care of. So I think this is one fantastic parrot companion. Don't forget, if you get two, they'll keep each other company when you're not around and you'll have twice as much fun when you have time for them. Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. If you love learning about parrots like I do, talking about parrots, sharing pictures of parrots, please consider joining Parrot Bliss Flock, which is a group on Facebook. Make sure you like and subscribe, and then we will catch you next time.